Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to fix a broken power cord and I will be specifically talking about a power cord that has three prongs just like you see here. So sometimes power cords get broken or get severely damaged. Uh, sometimes our pets chew through them, sometimes they get damaged when we're moving them and so forth. Um, and I'm going to show you a way to fix a broken power cord. So let's imagine that this power cord was damaged and I just have a little uh, pen here. I'm going to draw a line where we are going to imagine that the damage exists. So right here where I'm drawing the line, we'll just imagine that this is where the damage exists. And I'll bring it a little bit closer to the camera. So as you can see, there is a blue line on there. So we'll imagine that, let's say, our pet dog chewed through this part of the power cord. So the first step is to actually get rid of the damaged area. So I'm just going to take my um, wire strippers here and I'm going to cut around the damaged area. So I'm going a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left of the damaged area. It's just like this. I'm just going to get rid of it just like that. Just give me one quick second to cut it off. Okay, there's one side. And like I said, the damaged area ends right there. So we're going to cut a little bit to the left now. Okay. So now that I have removed the um, imaginary damaged area, we're going to get rid of it. So I'm going to place it to the side. And now the next goal is to actually, sorry about that. The next goal is to actually splice these two parts of the wire back together. So the first step is to remove the outermost insulation on the cord. So in this case, it is this um, white, white, whitish, grayish, insulation right here. I'm going to remove um, a few inches, I would say two inches of it, two to three inches of it. So uh, you may have a wire stripper that is suited for the specific cord that you are stripping, um, but I don't. So I'm just going to use the cutter portion of this pair of wire strippers to get rid of the outermost insulation on both, uh, both ends of the wire. So both wires, I should say. So now that I have gotten rid of the insul the outermost insulation on the left portion, the left wire right here, you can see that there are three color-coded wires inside. So I'm just going to do the same with the right side. Now, as you can see, I have exposed the three color-coded wires on the left portion of the cord and the right portion of the cord. So the next step is to strip off about an inch of insulation off of each of these six wires and for that I will be using these very very basic and simple wire strippers So now, as you can see, I have stripped off about an inch of insulation from the top of each of these six wires. So if you take a look really closely, and I hope the camera will show you this, you can see that there are many fine, many fine um, hair-like wires within each of these, just like you can see right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist them just like this just to sort of um, make them very uniform and easier to manipulate as one. So instead of working with them as many, many small, uh, many, many small wires, once you twist them like this, you will be able to manipulate them and bend them as one unit. So now that we are done this, the next step is basically to connect the color coordinated wires. Now with this specific cord, there is a green, a black, and a white. The green is the ground, the black is the hot or the power, and the white is the neutral. Now, um, depending on what type of cord you're using and where you live, these colors might be different. But the main goal is to match the colors. So whatever colors you're working with, as long as you match them together and color coordinate them, you should be okay. So we'll start off with the white. Now I am simply going to twist them together 
um, but some people like to use wire nuts or even solder them together. That is completely up to you, but I'm going to twist them together just like this. So I'm going to make sure that they are twisted together very, very nicely and it, just ensure that they are secure. Now that I've twisted them together, I'm going to get some electrical tape which I just had and I moved, oh it's right here. I'm gonna get some electrical tape and I'm going to wrap it around the exposed portion of the wires. And this is to ensure that the wires do not touch any other wires and so that they, they are safe and no one gets uh, electrocuted or anything like that. So I'm just going to do a very rough job right now. I'm simply going to wrap the electrical tape around the exposed portion that you see right here of the white wires. All right, now that the white wires are connected and have been taped off, we are going to do the exact same thing with the green wires and the black wires. So I'm simply going to twist them together and then tape them off. Okay, so as you can see, I have connected the white wires and taped them off. I've connected the green wires and taped them off and also the black wires and taped them off. Now. Right now, everything is connected and it is, for the most part, it is pretty safe um, because everything has been taped off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, tape over all of the wires and this is just for some extra safety. So I'm just going to use this electrical tape right here and I'm going to wrap it around the entire area that we had worked on just like that and I'm going to wrap it around a few more times just to ensure that it is durable and um, it is durable and completely safe. So there you have it. I have shown you how to fix a broken power cord. We started off by cutting out the area that was damaged. Then we removed the outermost insulation on both sides of the cord. And then we removed the inner insulation on the three wires that were coming out from each side of the cord. We then connected the wires and matched the colors. We taped over each of the wires individually and taped over the entire area. And once again, just for clarification, I used electrical tape when I was referring to the tape. And this is specifically for power cords with three prongs, just like that. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.